Hey, fellow adventurers and dice rollers. It's your guide through the realms of fantasy and epic tales, Jared Carvalho, here to dive into the magical world of Baldur's Gate 3. Now, if you've journeyed through the Sword Coast with me, you know there's always room for more in our party, especially when it comes to the rich tapestry of characters we can play as. So today, let's chat about why adding more playable races in future DLC for Baldur's Gate 3 isn't just a good idea, it's a no-brainer. The core of our adventure, choice. From the moment we step into the world of Baldur's Gate 3, the choices we make define our journey. Class, abilities, but most importantly, our race. These choices aren't just cosmetic, they're the essence of our story, shaping our interactions, our challenges, and our identity in this beautifully crafted universe. And while Larian Studios has done an outstanding job, there's an opportunity here that's too good to pass up, expanding our horizons with more playable races. The missing pieces, Awesomer, Bugbears, and Goblins, oh my. Imagine the possibilities playing as an Awesomer, embodying the struggle between their celestial heritage and the dark forces at play or stepping into the shoes of a bugbear or goblin, traditionally seen as villains, and flipping the script. These races offer unique perspectives and alignments that can enrich our gameplay and storytelling, providing fresh, nuanced experiences with every playthrough. The community's voice is clear, and the modding world has already laid the groundwork, showcasing a hunger for these diverse characters. Beyond black and white, alignments reimagined. Baldur's Gate 3 brilliantly lets us navigate the murky waters between good and evil, but imagine how much deeper those waters could become with races traditionally aligned with darkness or light. Playing as a hobgoblin, known for their martial prowess and tendency towards evil, could challenge us to defy stereotypes or perhaps embrace them. The narrative potential here is immense, adding layers to our role playing that could lead to truly memorable campaigns. The Road Ahead, DLC Dreams. While we're all eagerly awaiting word from Larian Studios on what's next, the inclusion of new races in future DLC feels like a natural step. It's a chance to not only address community desires, but to invigorate the game with new life, enticing veterans and newcomers alike to explore the world of Baldur's Gate 3 from new perspectives. The success of modding efforts underscores a significant interest in expanding playable options, signaling a clear path for Larian to deliver even more depth and variety. A personal plea. Embrace the diversity of D&D. As a fan and a player, I can't help but dream about the stories waiting to be told, the characters waiting to be brought to life. D&D at its core is about the boundless possibilities of imagination, and Baldur's Gate 3 is our canvas. By introducing more playable races, Larian Studios has the opportunity to not just add content, but to deepen the game's connection to its roots, celebrating the diversity and complexity that make D&D &D so beloved. Closing thoughts, a call to adventure. So, fellow travelers, the call for more playable races in Baldur's Gate 3 is more than just a wish for new content. It's a call to broaden our horizons, to tell stories yet untold, and to deepen our connection to this world and each other. Let's keep pushing for a future where our choices in Baldur's Gate 3 are as limitless as our imagination. And to Larian Studios we say, the community is ready, the groundwork is laid, let's make this adventure one for the ages. That's all from me today. What races would you love to see become playable in Baldur's Gate 3? Drop your thoughts and dream DLCs in the comments below. Until next time, keep rolling those dice, and may your adventures be epic.